Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our Roborock Robot Vacuum Buyer's Guide. We've tested every Roborock model in their current lineup and think that they're one of the best manufacturers out there. In this video, we'll take a look at the similarities and differences in these models so that you can decide which one would work best for your situation. So links in the description and let's get started. As of 2023, Roborock has consolidated down to two main product lines, the S series and the Q series. The S series seems to represent Roborock's premium offerings, and the Q series is their entry and mid-level robot line. We've chosen three models from each line, six robots in total, to compare and contrast. There are a lot of details that we won't go into in this video in the interest of time, including details on some of their outlier models. For that, though, we've done an in-depth write-up on the Vacuum Wars website, and there is a link to that article in the pinned comment and description below. Roborock's product naming is fairly straightforward. For instance, if a product name has a plus sign, the word plus, or the word ultra, it includes an advanced dock in the package. If they have a plus in the name, they are capable of automatically emptying the robot's dustbin. If they have an ultra in the name, it means that they not only can empty the robot's dustbin automatically, but it also has advanced features centered around managing the robot's mopping system. The QRevo is a new naming convention. It also includes an advanced dock, but we'll get into the feature of various docs later in this guide. You may have noticed that all of the robots on the screen have an auto-empty dock, though each of these robots, with the exception of the QRevo, are also available with a far less expensive standard charging base, that is, without the auto-empty dock, though the specs of the robots themselves in that case are mostly the same. Starting off with navigation, all of the robots in their new lineup use LiDAR for mapping and navigation. We're big fans of LiDAR, and it enables a long list of advanced smart features which are fairly consistent across the Roborock lineup. For example, they all have quick mapping, which is pretty much what it sounds like. They also have multiple floor plan storage, so they can remember a map for each of the levels in your house. Moving on to vacuuming and power specs, their official suction ranges from as little as 2,500 pascals all the way up to 6,000 pascals, but I wouldn't pay all that much attention to those numbers since I've never found them to be particularly relevant in terms of how well they perform. We found that all Roborock robot vacuums are really good. I would say much better than average for vacuuming both hard floors and carpets. I attribute this in part to Roborock's brush roll systems. All of the robots here have a floating brush roll housing, which allows the brush roll to adjust itself to best maintain suction. New to Roborock is a dual brush roll system system as well as a lifting brush roll, both found only on the S8 line, though even there I found no significant differences between the single and dual brush roll models with either debris pickup or carpet deep cleaning. Moving on to mopping, the Q5 is the only model in this new lineup that does not have a mop system. The Q7 has a passive mopping system where a pad is attached to the robot and it sort of drags it around as it cleans. The S7 and S8 series have a high-speed sonic mopping system that vibrates the pad to clean stains better, though the S8 has two places that vibrate to only one place on the S7. The QRevo, S7, and S8 series also have one of the best mopping features in my opinion. This is where the robot lifts up its mopping pad when it recognizes carpet. This helps prevent both dampening the carpet and getting unnecessary dirt or debris on the mop pad. But I think it's a game changer because it allows the robot to vacuum and mop in the same run, virtually doubling its efficiency over competitors that don't have it. And new for Roborock in 2023 is a spinning mop pad system currently only available on the Roborock Q Revo. Related to mopping, all the S7 Max V and S8 models also have clean along floor direction. When enabling this mode and having already specified the direction of the flooring in your home, the robot will clean in the same direction as the flooring in order to minimize streaks, which is something that I really like. All of the robots have slightly different dust bin and water tank sizes. This is one of those things that might change if you decide not to get the one that comes with an auto-empty dock. Moving on to the dock capabilities, advanced auto-empty docks that manage one or more of the robot's regular maintenance items really does add a lot of value. As I said, they can all empty the robot's dustbin automatically, and each one of these can last several weeks before the bag in the dock needs to be disposed of. The Q Revo, S7 Max Ultra, and the S8 Pro Ultra take it a step further with the capability to refill the robot's water tank and wash its mop pads. The Q Revo and S8 Pro Ultra are the only ones that heat 
heat dry the mop pads out of the box, but you can buy a heater as an add-on for the S7 Max V Ultra Dock as well. One really important difference is that some of these have obstacle avoidance systems and some don't. These are front-mounted cameras and or sensors that identify objects in a robot's path, something I think is really worth the upgrade if you have a cluttered house with lots of objects laying around. Only the Q-Revo, S7 Max V, and S8 series have obstacle avoidance. The S8 series is the only one that uses structured light and infrared systems instead of a camera like on the others, in part because of consumers' security concerns. In our extensive testing, we found no significant differences between the structured light and camera versions of obstacle avoidance, and both were right up there with the best of the best obstacle avoidance systems on the market. As far as battery life, all of the robots here have a 5200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. According to Roborock, the maximum runtime before needing to recharge for all of these robots is 180 minutes on low power or 3,229 square feet. Roborock has been a leader with smart features and has a well thought out, easy to use app. All of the robots here have the following advanced features. No-go zones, advanced scheduling, carpet boost, room cleaning, zone cleaning, Amazon Alexa capability, Google Assistant capability, Siri compatibility with Apple shortcuts, 3D mapping. The Q Revo and S8 Pro Ultra also have smart suggestions for no-go lines. They're lined up here from the least to the most expensive, with the Q5 being the least and the S8 Pro Ultra being the most expensive. I think that you'll probably be more than happy with whatever Roborock model you choose. They've proven their ability to create highly capable, reliable robot vacuums, and they're fan favorites, usually with really good reviews, and it's no surprise that they've become one of the best-selling robot vacuum brands in the world. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.